The only thing that stayed consistent in my life was change. When somebody comes up to me and asks me where I'm from, I dread that question or that conversation. They have an assumption of like, okay, you were born in this town, you grew up and went to school and your parents live there and all your friends are there. Well, for me, that spread out over many thousands of miles. Gunned down in a weekend of violence. Eight of them killed. Chaos. The city seems all but numb to an epidemic of violence. As a result of the political situation in the Congo, we were always moving. There are certain airports I remember distinctly better than certain homes we lived in. The amount of things that I was exposed to by age 10, for some people, that's more than a lifetime. Coming to the U.S. to an English-speaking culture, that was a shock. Literally, everybody's talking in gibberish. What happened to me is you become more aware of how imperfect an approximate language actually is. A child, before they write, they will draw. It's a language that crosses sort of, if you will, the verbal language barriers. So I think there's something intrinsically human about drawing itself. In that drawing, we inhabit that child's moment because we've all been there. And so there is nothing that child could ever say to take us to that moment. But in following those lines, we enter those moments. If you're going to tell a story, specifically your story, there is no more powerful way to do it than drawing. Once I sort of incorporated into my value system, I felt uncomfortable if I didn't draw. With time, I found that what matters is the human connections we make. Reaching people is, in many ways, why we're here. And if I take that to a professional framework, like what should I be making? I think it's the thing that reaches people's hearts. There's something more profound to be said about this world in my life. And that's why, for me, that storytelling path was essential. And to me, there's nothing more important. When certain things come together, I think the feeling or the setting or the situation, the circumstances, can be called home. It's not geographical. It's one of those things that goes back to language. Something happens in a time and place and that can become home. Where are there people who want to work hard, who want to work for excellence, who want to achieve kind of what I aspire to? It's something that I searched for for a long time. Sideshow opened that door for me. It feels like no other place. One I consider a privilege and an honor to call home. My name is JP Mavinga, and this story is of my journey home.